Hi, this is Kent Cutter with Hot Takes, bringing you our first Kaladesh video. We've got some standard Aetherworks, uh, and we're in match three. We're one and one right now. This entire shindig is brought to you by Card Hoarder. Hopefully you found us on cardhoarder.com slash content or the Card Hoarder YouTube channel. We're going to mulligan this one. <coughs> Excuse me. We're going to mulligan this one. Uh, we will keep this one. Bottom. Yep. So it looks like our opponent Let's see. So the forest here. Pass this over. See. Let's just reunion pitch a couple. Okay. So if our opponent obliges by giving us a target. So we just need that harness lightning. Okay. So it looks like their board control deck. So we're just gonna like run this out there. Okay, so I think this is red black control. This is probably a decent matchup for us. Um, you know, our opponent having two planeswalkers on the uptick is definitely a tough one. Keep this one. So that's five. We need to hit an Ulamog here. So, bottom, bottom. Same thing as before. Bottom, bottom. 
Perfect. And Bazinga! <laughs> Yahtzee! Woo! All right. A little hot Aetherworks action. That's neat. Um, All right. So, I don't want to cut vessels when I have access to counter magic because it gives us something to do on turns where we might not make that happen. So, we'll cut one cathartic. Uh, and we'll keep it. Green source, we're locked up. Not today, he says. Boom. Womp. Okay. Interesting situation here. Um, being a turn behind is fine. Okay. Interesting. Let's just be for more pressure. So they're going to lost legacy, uh, probably take one of our targets. Maybe we'll get lucky and hit the other. The downside is, is their Liliana is going to be going off pretty soon. It's very, very close and interesting. Oh, they're going to shuffle away that land as well. That's all right. Let's see. Name, where am I put name?
actually have to sequence. So next turn, um, we're going to go attune most likely into Puzzle Knot because that will line us up with all the energy we need into Marmal. Try to spend for one of our Ulamogs. Um, so here's what I'm thinking as well. Opponent is going to ultimate the... No, I mean, that's two attacks. It's really not that bad if I put an Ulamog in play. Hmm. So we lost the Emrakuls, which is probably the majority answer. So we're going to go a tune. A thing. Uh, I guess we'll just attune again and get another land. Yeah. This is just what we're sitting on now. So we're going to cast that next turn. We can, I guess, scry the Glassblower's Puzzle Knot to put some cards on bottom.
So no lost legacy, and I think we win that game uh, pretty easily just with a regular hit there. So definitely a, a card that we have to be painfully aware of, and I think we're already boarded in a way that sets us up well for it. So let's just submit the same 60 we did as last time and just run that straight back. Uh, being on the play and just having a more fluid sequence could probably get us a victory here in this matchup. I like this quite a bit, actually. <laughs> so we can't technically be... Uh, um, what we call it? Transgressed. If we get transgressed, there's no hits in this hand, which is kind of funny. Probably puts a land in a play tapped. So I'm going to hold on to, yeah, I want to hold on to these two puzzle knots because they do a better job of setting me up for, um, whoops, well, got bopped now off of that cathartic reunion. Maybe I'm just supposed to puzzle knot there and stay immune to the transgresses. That's actually probably a smarter sequence because the next turn we can, yeah. All right, well, definitely a mistake on my end. I will be able to... I'll probably be in good shape here. So now we have to go... So we're actually protecting this for a couple turns now. So let's go this one. Looking for a land to leave on top. We'll put you on. Actually, do I want to float that? So I want to do that. What I want to do is that. What I want to do. So our opponent doesn't have any way to interact with. Top. Top. We're actually going to leave this. This is kind of an interesting sequence that uh, it's really only possible because our opponent doesn't interact with the marvel itself. Okay, so you can have that. So we'll be trying to hit a fifth land off of this. No big deal. Upkeep step. We're just going to draw as normal. And then I'm going to... Run this out, right? No. Yeah. God, this is just a really low... E no, this sequence is fine. I think it's fine. Well, um, yeah, that sequence was pretty silly, honestly. Yeah, I should have just bottomed it like right off the right off the jump. Uh, take the f island here, actually, because I want to keep up both sides of this. So now we get creature, artifact, sorcery. So we don't get to exile if our opponent casts the Lost Legacy here. My hope is next turn we can just Aether works appropriately. Try to run from there. We'll probably blow up this and this, but
Yeah, we'll just take down these two. Yeah, all right, lock it up from there. So uh, another control match where I, I think some of the counter magic package we have uh, really comes into play. Really just having one counter spell is usually good enough in this format. And, uh, you know, if, if red-black does become the dominant control deck, I feel like it's a really great matchup for you. Uh, just one counter spell for their first, you know, interactive piece, and then you just Aetherworks and run with it from there. So that was a fun little match uh, that puts us at 2 and one with Teamer Aetherworks. So join us back for match four and five, and then a little wrap-up video. Uh, this was Kent Ketter with Card Hoarder, bringing you a little hot take action with our first Kaladesh Magic Online video. Thanks a lot, folks. We'll see you for the next couple matches.